Good morning, my name is Brian Conlon, I'm a meteorologist here in Missoula, Montana, and this is your planning briefing for November 17th, 2019. Looking at our current situation, we have some moisture overrunning the area. This is producing some light rain. This will continue for most of the day. With snow levels around seven or 8,000 feet, it's not gonna be um, an impact for most people in this area. What we wanna key in on is this system out here over the Pacific, just south of Alaska. This is gonna start to um, bring in light rain for us uh, Monday night, and then we expect some impacts to begin in the early morning hours from Marias Pass. So let's get right at it. By the evening on Monday, we're gonna see that light rain overrunning Northwest Montana. It should not be cold enough in most of the valleys where there'll be any impacts, although in the, the coldest valleys of northwest Montana, there could be patchy freezing rain. It's just not likely at this point because the clouds are gonna come in too early for it to cool off sufficiently. Marias Pass, though, will probably be snow through the whole thing. If it is rain, it'll only be briefly, and the snow levels will come down sufficiently for it to be snow from that point on. We are seeing, we are thinking there's gonna be high impacts from Marias Pass. The earliest models show uh, the front getting into Marias Pass around five or six a.m. I think that that is an unlikely solution. Most likely, we're gonna be more in the nine to 11 a.m. range where the front will get to Marias Pass. <clears throat> What that's gonna do is it's gonna bring in stronger winds, uh, blowing snow, this will be all snow from Marais Pass. Uh, so we'll have blowing snow and the colder air will be there. By 2 p.m., we'll look at more along the lines of the Flathead Valley. So the cold air will get there, the winds, we'll see that change over to uh, snow. The problem is gonna be, it's gonna be very wet in front of this uh, system. We're looking at wide ranging half inch to three quarter inch uh, values for precipitation. So the ground's gonna be very wet. The cold air is gonna come in. We're looking at a freeze up post frontal along with the winds. By 5 p.m. Um, and um, rush hour, it's gonna be into the Mission Valley. Uh, once again, wet out in front, cold air, a brief period of snow, um, could be problematic for a road crews at this time period. And then from 8 to 11, in this range here, we'll look in the I-90 corridor, the Mission, uh, Mo Missoula Valley, excuse me, and then Homestake and McDonald Passes. Now, the passes should change to all snow by mid-morning, um, and we're looking for Lolo to see their, their the most of their snow to come in that mid-morning to early afternoon time range. Uh, but for McDonald and um, <coughs> Homestake Pass, we're gonna see those winds pick up between 9 and 11 p.m., blowing snow for those areas. And that's when the impacts will begin for them. For the, for the Missoula Valley, it'll be wet out in front once again. Once the front passes, there'll be that brief period of snow and then the cold area. So we could see a slushy accumulation freeze up on the roads. And then from midnight till about 5 a.m., it'll transit the Bitterroot Valley where we'll see that same effect, the, trans the transition of snow, brief period of snow, cold air, and freeze up. Snow totals, other than Marias Pass seeing about eight to 10 inches with that blowing snow, um, Lolo Pass may see four to six, Homestake and McDonald one to three. The valleys, for Butte, we're looking at one to two inches in this area, and that's gonna be primarily between that nine to 11 p.m. time range. By the time it gets into Northwest Montana, we're looking at a slush to an inch, but it's gonna be that freeze up afterwards that's gonna become the problem. Same for the Mission Valley, uh, the freeze up after M Missoula and the Bitterroot, probably not much to maybe a glaze, and then that freeze up afterwards. The weather impacts, we're looking at high impact on Tuesday for snow at all levels, that wind coming in, and then the temperature drop off after, um, after the frontal passage. The big thing is gonna be Marias Pass is gonna be a mess with that eight to 10 inches blowing snow through the day and um, just getting colder as the day goes on. Uh, for everyone else, it's gonna be a low impact for snow at the pass level 
and then by late afternoon winds in southwest Montana on Homestake and McDonald Pass. For Wednesday, it's going to be moderate, but I think these moderate impacts are going to be through the morning hours. And by the time the sun comes up, the, the impacts will start to lessen. The snow will have already stopped, the wind will taper off during the day, and the temperature drop is going to happen late night on Tuesday and early morning Wednesday. And then for everyone else, it'll be low impacts for snow. Uh, the snow will taper off from the northeast, south and west. And then finally, Lemhi County will see their impacts after 5 a.m. Thank you for listening to this, uh, this weather briefing. Our next briefing will be Tuesday the 20th.